Hey, I'm Aubrey St. John from Cessna Team Structures. There's a lot to be said about taking a good photograph for us to evaluate when damage occurs. One of the important aspects of that photo is the exposure and lighting, so I'm going to touch on that today. Camera flash is not typically recommended for the type of photos we need. The flash will often leave glare on surfaces or will simply be too harsh to be usable, especially when up close to the area being photographed. If you are going to use flash, just review the picture before emailing and make sure the image lighting is balanced beforehand. It is best to use a bright drop light or a flashlight that can flood the area with equal light from behind or at the side of the camera. Offsetting the light source in such a way from the camera lens will reduce glare and reflection, producing good lighting for the images. Another way lighting can be useful is for defining dents along an aircraft's skin. Shooting the picture along the plane of the skin with a light behind the camera will help bring out the, the definition of the dent. Shooting in the camera's auto mode and having a well-lit area will also increase the camera's shutter speed, thus reducing potential image shake and improve overall image clarity. Image shake occurs when the camera is moving during image capture, often at lower shutter speeds and lower lighting conditions. To reduce the possibility of image shake, Brace your hands or arm against a stable object while shooting, keeping the camera very still. You will rarely see this in an outdoor setting with an abundance of light. When you're shooting pictures outside, exposure and your camera's metering play an important role to getting the right area lit up. Most of the time, it's best to set up the camera for spot metering. This will allow the camera to pop properly expose the area in the focus box only, instead of the entire frame that you see in your camera's LCD screen. In this photo, the mechanic is trying to take a photo of the flap well on the trailing edge of a wing. However, the focus and exposure box is slightly out of place and is metering light from the bright white upper skin surface of the wing, leaving the flap well dark and underexposed. To correct this, the mechanic manually moves the focus box into the flap well and the camera meters the exposure to light up this area correctly. As you can see, metering can really be helpful getting dark, tight spots lit up correctly in various situations. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 316-517-6061 or send us an email at csstructures at cessna.com.